Good day everyone, I'm Joshua Clement and today I'm going to talk to you about the best way to cut screws. A lot of times when you're putting something together, the tip of the screw ends up poking out the other side and you're going to have to cut that off so it doesn't end up scratching or cutting someone. For this job, I'm going to be using a sawzall with a metal cutting blade and a hammer. On the sawzall, there's a special blade that is designed to cut through nails, screws, and other types of metal. So what we'll do is we'll lay it down flat Kind of give it a little bit of a bend to make sure you're nice and flat with the wood. Put it right up close to the screw. Go ahead and engage the power to it to start reciprocating the saw back and forth and then apply pressure to the screw. If you notice, there's a little bit of the screw left over because it just broke the screw off and didn't get a clean cut. So to fix that, you'll grab your hammer and just knock it in a little bit and bend that part over. Now if you don't have access to a sawzall, you can always just use a hammer. What you do is you go right up and knock it to the side and these screws break rather easy. So you'll just knock it over to the side and all the way down and pick it right out. You notice that it damaged the wood a little bit but you don't have anything sticking out of the end of the wood because it broke off inside the wood. Now if you're concerned with leaving marks on your wood, the best advice I can give you is to back the screw out and go get a smaller screw because pretty much anything you do to try to trim the screw up is going to end up damaging your wood. Breaking off your screws can protect your clothes and your skin so you want to make sure that you get any type of sharp object that's protruding out of the wood knocked out of the way. Thank you all for watching and good luck with this project. Thank you.